Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Class. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to show you how I planned out over a year's worth of video content for my YouTube. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. Now you want to know how to organize everything. Well, I'm going to assume that you don't have everything written down yet. I think that was something that I really struggled with when I first began doing YouTube videos or anything was not writing everything down. And so the very first thing that you want to do is to put pen to paper. Now I have this I got a couple years ago. You can see it's bent a lot because I use it in my binder. Um, but it was 365 days of social media content. Now not a lot of it I liked, but it was worth, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. It was worth the digital download to help inspire me and get me uh, ideas on what I could do. So details of everything you did during the holidays. Well, how about a detailed video of what you do for the holidays for art? Um, or if you're wanting to do it for something else, whatever. But you could also take that and it's like, well, this is January. So how about a New Year's? new you, new years, new art, whatever, new something. Maybe you have a free offer that you can offer for new years. Thank your followers. Think that people need to have a heart of gratitude. And so please thank, 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 thank your followers. Um, life hacks that you might've found, like I'm going to be showing, sharing with you guys next week, um, how to prep your work surface for resin. Um, I've actually had a lot of resin on here and I just kept peeling it off because that's what it does. That's awesome. But yeah, I'll share all of that with you next week. Um, try to be relatable about struggles. Like, hey, I got this two years ago and I've only looked at half of it. Haven't even looked at all of it. But that's also because I found what I wanted to do and built off of it. So instead of just going on this, I built it off and put my own pen to paper and came up with my own ideas. Now... All of these are based off of resin or things that I want to do for my channel. The big thing is I highlighted each one, easy, medium, and hard. So that way I could work with all of these and let everyone know, hey, this is going to be the easiest thing that you can do, or this is gonna be a pretty challenging one. And you really wanna make sure that you know what you're doing with resin before you begin. And then I also put those ideas here and this one as well. So making sure that you have some type of studio notebook is gonna be extremely helpful. This is another way to just get started. So utilize this to come up with ideas if you need more ideas or if you only know, yeah, I just, I don't, I can't think of what I wanna do next, what I wanna teach next. Um, then you can also utilize something called keyword tool. Keyword tool. Dot I -O. That's another resource. Oops, that was there you go. Keyword tool dot io. That's another resource that will um, generate different things based off of whatever you do on YouTube. So if you're just an acrylic artist, then you can search acrylic painting and it's gonna come up with how to paint trees or how to get the perfect sand grain while painting. Whatever those are. I mean, I'm thinking landscape, um, but you could do fur with animals and how to get the best animal eyes. I don't know. That's you. <laughs> that's not me. And so that's why I'm just trying to help inspire you there. Um, so that's a really beneficial tool. This is another really beneficial tool. And then once you get those ideas on paper, then highlight like I did with everything being easy, medium, or hard. And then that way you can put them all into a calendar. Now, when I did my calendar, I came up with a resin art challenge. So I have 52 different challenges that I can do. What I want to show you is I'm gonna show you my April's videos first. So these two you guys have already seen, this one you're currently watching, and then this one's next week's videos. The June is where we're gonna start the art challenge. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first five challenges. We have week one is a dirty pour. All of this is with resin, you guys. So I'm really wanting to do this to challenge you to do better and to do more with resin and to think outside the box. 
And this hopefully will help get your inspiration juices flowing in a bunch of different ways that you had no idea um, that you could do with resin. So week one, dirty pour. Week two, flip cup. Week three, glitter. I want you guys to do something with glitter. Week four, alcohol ink. Um, and then week five, coasters. So those are all different things that you can do with resin. And the um, I'll explain all of that challenge stuff later. And then I went and did different how-to videos right next to it. And I did that for the whole year. Okay, here's 2021. Just let it load. And then I did it again for got May. And I'm still working on finishing video ideas for June. But those will still happen. Um, I still have all my, well, week 57, look at that. I have so many ideas. Week 60. Um, so the, the weeks kept going, uh, but I still need to add in some more videos for there. So I made it all the way to June with just coming up with ideas based off of what I put pen to paper on in here. Now, that's why I highly recommend the studio book. That's why I highly recommend getting started with something maybe like this. If you have nowhere, if you're like, hey, Ashley, I really don't even know what to teach at all. Keyword tool or the calendar and having that studio notebook and then typing it out. The reason you wanna do that is because you're gonna retain more and remember more if you are writing it out first and then putting it in the computer. All right, I know that was a lot of information, but a lot of it was stuff I wish I had a lot sooner on. And so I hope that is beneficial to you. Please comment below with what your favorite new information was. And also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments as well. All right, so now I'm sure you guys are wondering about this art challenge. It is 60 weeks so far, and maybe it'll even continue from there. But every single week will be something different that I want to have as inspiration for you. And so you don't have to do every single one. You can, but you can also just pick and choose which ones that you want to submit with. Now, I will also be voting, but so will all of you. Now, every single week, there's a winner. Out of those, we're going to vote for the best project out of all of those. And that person is the one who wins. I already created my Facebook group. I just started it. And so you can already go in and uh, be a part of that community. All right, and that's it. So let me know if you have any additional questions in the comments below. And don't forget to head over to the Facebook page and introduce yourself. Let me know what type of artist you are and whether or not you are a beginner or advanced or intermediate or whatever you are when it comes to the resin world and what you're looking forward to most about these resin art challenges. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys next week.